Hi everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood hanger hobbit here. Just wanted to show you my new little toy. Just a little video showing, yes, I got through the horribleness that was today's task. And here's what I got for my trouble, the tandem mine. And yes, as you can see, the guns do work. Now I'll be doing a full video on this thing when it's not being spammed to holy hell. But for those that want to know how to fly it, eh, picture the cannon Stuka but with worse guns. You see, that's why I can't really do a full video on it, because you're really going to have to fly this thing like you would a duck, or a bowfighter, or an IL-2. What you're going to have to do is have the enemy distracted with somebody a lot more agile than you, like a Yak or a Chika, and then while they're not looking, you sneak up there and you bop them on the head. But right now, you're seeing eight, nine, ten of these things in a match, and that's not going to work. You got to have somebody more agile to keep them busy so you can sneak up and bop them on the head. And here's where I find out there's one little weakness on this thing I didn't notice. It's got the same problem as Russian tanks. Gun depression. Oh, and as far as armor, guess what? It ain't got any. That's right. You are nothing but a flying gas tank as you can see right here. See, now if I had me some yaks or some chikas in here to keep them busy while I could sneak up, it would be fun. But right now, there was like six freaking tandems on this match. So, went into the second match, eight freaking tandems in this match. It was nuts. And as you can see, the guns can do some work, but you will be getting a whole lot of assists in this thing. I tried both stealth belts and tracers. I found the tracers were a little better at getting fires, but but the power, man, this thing has no power. What you end up having to do is like this right here. Let them get behind you, cut them to pieces. Now since this video is a little short, I thought I'd add a little something extra. As many of you know, I like to fly something different after doing one of those events, just to unwind. Last time it was chopping them down in a chica. This time, it's time to murder with my good old friend, Boris, the IL-2 Avenger. After flying that lousy 1941 and 1942 IL-2 in the match, uh, I needed my baby. Th th this is home. This is my honey. Sadly, what I don't realize is my team is already two-thirds dead just at this point. But you know what? I don't care. This plane, this plane is fun. Now here's how you murder an Avenger. You pick you a nice juicy target. Like this A36. Now one thing you really need to do is either split your guns like I've got mine split or put stealth on those 7.6s. Because that's not what's going to do the work. What's going to do the work is that 23 millimeter cannon. Boom! As you can see, it rips planes apart. That's the same 23 millimeter you get on the freaking Yak-23 and the MiG-9. That's where you're going to do your work. Forget the little pew-pews. Stick with the pow-pows. And, oh, is that hurricane going to take a head on? Really? Is it my birthday? Are you going to give me a big fat free gift, Mr. Hurricane? I so do appreciate it. I love when they do that. See? This thing can slaughter up to 1.6 kilometers away. And oh, look at what I got there. Two of them in formation. Well, I can't do nothing about that F4, but them P40s flying in a line? Mm-mm, those look tasty. See, this is why this thing is so fun. You just go in without a care in the world, line you up a shot, and just tear things apart. Look at this. We got two of them. One and two. Mmm, mmm, good. Well, be sure to like and share, and I hope to see you up there in the clouds. Have a good one, y'all.